hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial i will talk about uh, uh, volume so let's say you have designed a bottle or some container which can hold some liquids or gases doesn't matter so uh, let's say how you wanna uh, how you can calculate the volume of your uh, model so let's say i have a bottle over here how i'm going to know that how much the liquid or whatever thing that it can hold basically what's the volume of this bottle so we have a smart tool inside fusion 360 which is called a boundary fill which we can utilize and then calculate the volume of the bottle or anything like that now to do that i'll show you let's open my model so i have a simple bottle over here we have some analysis going on so you can see the cross section and then we have the thickness of this bottle going on and uh, let's calculate the volume of this bottle and the very first thing that we are going to do is let's create a plane and uh, use top plane switch it to front view and then drag it now this is basically gives the level of the liquid so whatever the plane that you create will be the upper level of the liquid that's gonna be inside the bottle so make sure you are selecting the plane very carefully and to do that i'm going to show my sketch one and uh, we all know that uh, most of the time the liquids or the beverage that is filled inside a bottle is up to uh, some reference point which is which which i am uh, right now eyeballing that mm -hmm. is up to this point so i'll just drag my plane up to that point this is just a reference okay in reality this could be an actual value so you know you can type in those values from the uh, top cap and then your your thing will be accurate but this is like a eyeballing so let's say i'm happy with that point i press ok and you can see the plane is created at that point now we can utilize the boundary fill command here we have to give the select tools and select cells now select tools is basically you'll select the entire bottle first of all it will take few seconds to calculate and we can also give this plane in select tools so we are defining the limit of the liquid basically so by the plane we define the top uh, level of the liquid and whatever the boundary is going to be that i define now we have to select cells so for that we need to utilize the analysis and uh, this is our section view and from here i will select only this part so yeah and make sure you're not removing tools or doing any other operation just go for new body i'll press ok and you can see i have a new body so if i click expand my bodies this is my body 4 which is basically the entire fluid or liquid inside the bottle you can pretty much distinguish it if you select it and we can hide our analysis also okay so now we have created the boundary fill let's apply a physical material in this case i'll right click on my body go for physical material and select liquid water just for reference now the material is applied we can right click on the body and go for properties you can see we have the option uh, we have all the essential properties such as area density mass volume the physical material is also specified okay and let's close this for now i will change my document unit system to inches 
okay and now if i select my body 4 and go for properties you will get the volume in terms of inch cube now if i type in this value 21.316 let's see what happens so cube inch cube 2 milliliter 21.316 you are getting approximately 350 ml right so this 350 ml uh, this bottle can hold 350 ml of water and uh, that water will be filled up to this limit okay now if you are using uh, some other beverage like soft drinks or um, hard drinks in terms of beer and all so every liquid has their own physical properties and uh, it can change with the density so basically all the physical properties uh, are depend uh, all the physical properties affects density and then density affects the volume so for this case uh, if uh, if if we have taken water but let's say if it, it was beer then the density would be something else so let's if we go to properties again for the water it's 0.577 ohms mass per inch cube but if it is it was a beer it could be something else and then the volume will be also affected as well as the mass so the whole idea of doing this tutorial is uh, basically how you can uh, measure the internal volume of a bottle very easily inside fusion 360 using the tool called boundary film very easy very handy if you have any doubts with this tutorial feel free to comment down below i will be happy to answer your queries see you guys in the next tutorial peace out